Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will be showing you how I customized my Windows 11. So this will be in a more minimalist vibe compared to my Windows 10 customization. If you haven't watched my previous laptop customization videos, you can click on the playlist up here. And I also have the links below in the description box. And yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So this is what my laptop looks like currently. This is the before and I have a video on how I created my wallpaper organizer. You can click on the link below if you want to check it out. So now let's first install Windows 11. By the way, you can check Microsoft's website all about upgrading to Windows 11. So you will have an idea of what you should do before and the certain specifications if your device meets the requirements to update your laptop. And the waiting game begins. After how many minutes or about an hour, so this is my laptop now. At first, you cannot really tell if there is a difference since the taskbar on my previous one is also in the middle. But as you can see, the icons changed and their navigation parts. I really like the slick look of this new update of Windows. So now let's start customizing. So first, I'm going to change my desktop wallpaper into a minimalist one. So to do that, search for a photo on the net. You can search some on Pinterest. However, the quality is not so good once you use it as your desktop wallpaper. So the alternative is to go find some free high quality photos on Unsplash. By the way, this is not sponsored by Unsplash. I just like that their photos are high quality. Just search for a specific vibe or theme that you want. You can search for a minimalist background. They have here a variety of photos. So here, just search for some beach photos and you can scroll down to look for the photo you want. So once you find your desired wallpaper, click on it, then the green button at the top right corner. I suggest that you download the largest file and just wait for it to finish downloading. Click on the photo and as you can see, it's not pixelated and it's high quality. You can search for more photos for all of the months, but of course this is optional. So I'm just downloading some more photos and after that, open PowerPoint, click on the blank presentation, then insert the photo you will use. Here I just add a slide and resize the photos. You can also crop them so it will not be too hard for you to adjust the image. Just repeat this process to the other photos. So once you're done fixing them, open the Word document that I will share with you. I have a link to this below in the description box so you can just save it or you can visit the website where I downloaded this calendar. Copy the month that you want to add, then on the PowerPoint, click the text box option. Paste the calendar and click the keep source formatting. You can resize them and change their font. And here I'm gonna apply a dark brown font color, then I will adjust it to a darker one or a darker shade. After that, insert another text box and here you can type the month, change its font and the font color and this is how it looks like. Adjust them according to your preference. Repeat this process to the other months if you're planning to do this also for your desktop wallpaper. Or if you want, you can create your own wallpaper organizer and use it as your desktop wallpaper. You can also apply this design where you add two different fonts for the month, then adjust the opacity of the other text. After that, save the PowerPoint presentation. And to save it as a photo for your wallpaper, go to the File tab, then click Save As or Save a Copy option, then choose a folder. Add a file name and choose the PNG file format. Lastly, click Save. Then choose the All Slides option. If your photo didn't turn to be HD, I will include a link below which is a guide on how you can make a photo saved from PowerPoint to be high quality. 
Before I proceed to the continuation of this video, I would like to share with you first a product from Lenshon. This is their Lenshon USB-C to Lightning Non-Slip Series 3A cable. This comes in two colors. It comes in red and gray. And on their website, you can either choose 1 meter or 2 meter cable. So one of its key features is that it has a USB 3.0 super speed on which it is fast charging. It is also durable and has a non-slip design. I also like that their cord is high quality. It has this braided nylon cover to ensure the cable will not be broken or damaged easily. It is also MFI certified which means it has no error pop-up message once you plugged in the cable on your phone. Once you receive the product, it comes with a cable organizer and a warranty card. Here, I just tried to use it on my AirPods and it does its job pretty well. So if you want to check more about this, you can visit the link below. Lenshin offers you other products specifically for your laptops or computers, which are really high quality. And if you want to buy this one or any product from Lenshin, you can use my code JESSLS20 for 20% off on all of your purchases. And yes, let's now go back to the video. So to change the wallpaper, right-click on your screen, click the Personalize option. Windows 11 already have given themes that you can apply on your desktop. So in changing the background, click the Background option and choose a photo from your desktop. So the one that you saved a while ago. So this is what mine looks like. I also decided here to hide the icons. And to do that, right-click on your desktop, click the View option, and uncheck the Show Desktop Icons. If you plan to unhide it, just repeat the process and at this time, check the option. Next, if you want to fix your taskbar, right-click on it, then click the taskbar settings. You have here the choice to show or hide a specific icon on your taskbar. You can also unpin and pin important apps. And you can also automatically hide the taskbar or not. Now I will show you how you can make your taskbar transparent. The first is go to the Microsoft Store, then search on the search bar Translucent TB and click on the Install Blue button. But in here, in my case, I already downloaded the app. Then just click on Continue. Click on the Show Hidden Icons button below, then click the Translucent TB button. Here you will have a variety of options. So first, click on the Desktop button. And you can choose to show the normal taskbar. The opaque one will show you this black taskbar. And they also have a clear option. And last is the acrylic option where it has this frosted kind of foggy style or vibe. Last is you can choose a custom color and click on the check button below. You can set the taskbar on other views or options. Just choose the one you prefer, and as you can see, this is the transparent one. Next, I will change my lock screen wallpaper. So to do that, go to the lock screen, then click Personalize your lock screen option, and choose the picture you want to show as your lock screen. Go to the color section, you can choose either a dark or light mode, and under that, choose the color you prefer. Under Fonts option, you can choose a specific font that you want to display. They have here a variety of designs and choose the one that you like. But in my case, I will just leave it as it is. Lastly, I will show you how you can set a flip clock as your screensaver. So search for Flicklow on the web. I will just link the website below if you want to try this too. Under it, click the download button for Windows, then open the downloaded file on your desktop. Click on the Flicklow button and this is how it would look like. Right click on the file, click the show more options, click configure if you want to adjust it. You can change the R format to 24 hours or 12 hours. You can also adjust the size, then click OK. Right click on it again, then the show more options and click the install button. And it will show you an option for the screensaver and make sure that it shows flick low, then click the OK button. And this is my minimalist Windows 11 customization. And yes, that is all for today's video guys. If you want to buy any luncheon products, you can use my code JESSLS20 for a 20% off on your purchase. 
And yes, thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!